A and B are two points on the x-axis and y-axis respectively. We can see from the graph that uh, A is on the x-axis, B is on the y-axis. Uh, P, which has coordinates 2, comma, minus 3, we can see that P lies in the fourth quadrant. Its x-coordinate is positive, y-coordinate is negative. And this, this is the point, P, 2, comma, minus 3. Is the midpoint of uh, A, B. So yeah, this, this, is the, this is the interesting part. It's the midpoint of uh, A, B. We, we need to find the coordinates of uh, A and B, the slope of line AB, equations of the line AB. Let's, let's tackle this one by one. The very first uh, important thing we realize from the graph itself is that uh, A is on the x-axis. A is a point on the x-axis. So it will, it will have some x-coordinate, uh, but uh, its y-coordinate will be zero. Since it's a point on the x-axis, all points on the x-axis have a y-coordinate zero. So the coordinates of this uh, A will be uh, some some x value comma zero and uh, similarly uh, you can say that uh, the coordinates of b uh, since it lies on the y-axis its x coordinate will be zero so it will have coordinates uh, zero comma again it will have some y coordinate so let me call it y so th these are the coordinates of this point b zero comma y and uh, now we use the fact that uh, p is the midpoint of uh, a b and uh, the way midpoint is found is nothing but uh, you take the average of the two points. And uh, interesting thing happens when you take the average of the x coordinates because here the x coordinate is zero and here the x coordinate is uh, x just. And uh, since the midpoint is, has x coordinate two, we can say that the average of zero and x is uh, two. So th th that uh, with a simple algebra, it shows that uh, this x value is it's nothing but uh, four. So we have actually found the coordinates of uh, A. The, these are uh, 4, comma 0. And uh, similarly, we can use the information that the y coordinate of P is negative 3. So again, the way to find the midpoint, uh, the y coordinate of the midpoint is you take the average of the y coordinates. So the y coordinate here is 0. The y coordinate here is y. And uh, if the average comes out to be minus 3, then uh, again, pure simple algebra, it shows you that the, this, this y value should be negative six. So the coordinates of point B are uh, zero comma negative six. Next, we are asked to find the slope of line AB and uh, very, very simple uh, formula for the slope. Uh, basically the definition of slope is nothing but the change in y divided by the change in x. So if I, if I were to take these two points uh, for my uh, the endpoints, I would, I would have a change in y. Now I'm starting with a y coordinate of negative six and I'm going to a y coordinate of zero. So that's an increase of six. So the change in y coordinate is a positive six. Now the change in uh, x coordinate is the, I'm starting with the x coordinate of zero and I'm reaching at uh, x coordinate of four. So my change in x is a positive four and uh, the slope comes out to be positive six over positive four, which is just three by two, which is consistent with the fact that uh, this, this line AB is an increasing line. So since it's an increasing line, it's a slope had to be positive. And then this is, this is the slope. If I were to write it in a new color, my answer to the second problem would be the slope of the line is three by two. Now to tackle the next problem, we have to find the equation of the line. And uh, there are multiple ways to do this problem uh, for which uh, you can use various forms of the equation of the line. And uh, what I can try to do is try to show you the all the general forms of uh, the equation of a uh, line. Let me try to copy paste over here. Yes, so th these are these are the general forms of these are the general forms of uh, the equations of line. These are four, four equations. Uh, the first, the very first form is uh, the famous uh, uh, slope, slope intercept form, wherein uh, you have uh, M as the slope and B is the Y intercept, or basically the Y coordinate uh, of uh, the Y intercept. So if I, if I were to use this form, the slope intercept form, my equation of line would be, if I were to write it over here, uh, Y is equals to, the slope, m, m is the slope, and uh, we know that the slope of the line is three by two, so it would be three by two times x 
plus B. Now, B is the y-intercept. And we know from our uh, graph uh, or from previous knowledge that the y-intercept is a negative 6. So, B is negative 6. So, it is as good as a minus 6. And now, I can rearrange this uh, to make it look nicer. What I can do is I can multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of this 2. So, this will give me a 2y is equals to a 3x and a negative 12 because I'm multiplying by 12 this 6 will become a 12 and uh, if I were to write it in standard form I would have all the variables on one side in fact uh, everything on one side so I would have uh, let's let's take uh, this uh, let's put everything on the other side and uh, swap side so what I'm actually wanting to do is 3x I'm swapping I'm putting this 2y over the other side so it will become a negative 2y and this negative 12 remains on this side so it will become a negative 12 is equals to 0. This is the standard form of uh, the equation of the line. So we have the equation as 3x minus 2y minus 12 is equals to 0. We, we, and we use the slope intercept form to find uh, the equation. And we are uh, we are done with the problem. We have found the equation of the line. But uh, to just to hit the nail and uh, make sure that we get the same equation if we were to use the other formulas, I'll, I'll do it with the other formulas as well. Let me use a new color. Let's use uh, this uh, this form wherein uh, this, is, this is the famous uh, slope point form wherein you have m as the slope and uh, the point uh, one one of the points on the line is x1 comma y1 so x1 and y1 these are x and y coordinates of uh, those uh, points. So if I were to use uh, this equation, I would have let me scroll down a little bit. Okay, for that, I, I need the slope. I, I know from previous knowledge that my slope is 3 by 2. And uh, for one point, I can use any of the points that lies on the line. And uh, just for fun, I'll use this point P, 2 comma minus 3. So my point is, this, this is my x1, y1. So if I were to plug this uh, using this uh, formula, my equation would be y minus y1. Now y1 is negative 3. So subtracting a negative 3 is as good as adding a 3 is equals to m. Now m is the slope which uh, we found out to be 3 by 2 times uh, x minus x1. Now x1 is 2. This is the equation of the line using the slope point form. And again I can uh, beautify this. I can multiply whole thing, the whole thing by 2 to make this a uh, 2y plus uh, 6 is equals to this 2 gets uh, shifted to the other side. And uh, this 3 I can uh, distribute over x minus 2 to give you a 3x uh, minus 6. And again, I can shift all of this uh, to the other side to give you, let me do it over here, 3x. I'll shift this negative 2y over here, negative 2y. And I already have a negative 6. And so if this 6 comes over here, it becomes another negative 6, which gives you a negative 12 is equals to 0. And uh, indeed you realize that uh, we, we got the same equation earlier uh, using the slope uh, intercept form and uh, we, we got the same equation using the slope point form. Just, just, just to make sure that uh, we get the same equation using all the formula. Uh, the next one is, uh, okay, let me get some real estate. Here. Yes, yeah, I'm actually new to this. Okay, let me have this just to make sure that we have the same equation. And uh, now we'll use the Oops. we'll use uh, this this format uh, this is the two point format when you have one point as x1 y1 the other point is uh, x2 y2 uh, let me do this in another color uh, i can i can use this point as x1 y1 and uh, i can use either of the points a comma b as uh, my other point uh, x2 y2 let me use uh, a as my other point so this is x2 y2 And uh, remember what x was here, uh, x was uh, 4. So my x2 would be 4. And uh, y2 was 0. The y coordinate was 0. So these are my x2, y2. And uh, yeah, let's get back to this equation. It's uh, y minus y1. Now my y1 is uh, negative 3. So again, it's a positive 3. Subtracting a negative 3 is equals to, I put it over here. This y2 minus y1. Now y2 is a 0. y1 is negative 3. So it would be a 0 minus negative 3 or a 0 plus 3 divided by x2 is 4. And x1 is 2. So it would be 
4 minus 2. And uh, you realize one thing that this is actually the slope. This, this, uh, this expression actually gives you the slope, but since uh, we, we have already found it, this is kind of the other way of finding the uh, equation. So let, let, let's, let's, uh, let's roll with this. Uh, we need to complete the equation with the x minus x1 is uh, 2. Which is, if I were to simplify this side, this would become uh, 0 plus 3 is 3 divided by 4 minus 2 is 2 times x minus 2. And uh, again, I would suggest you just simplify this, uh, multiply this 2 to the other side to give you this uh, 2y plus 6 and distribute this 3x to the 3 uh, to the x minus 2 to give you a 3x minus 6 and then simplify, which will ultimately give you this uh, result. Consider, consider this as an exercise. And uh, the last uh, interesting um, formula, the last interesting equation of the line is uh, using this uh, form. This is x by a plus y by b is equals to 1. Where this a and b, these are uh, correspondingly the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So let me let me again get some real estate. Let's get back. All right. Here, uh, a and b, these are the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So clearly, a is the x-coordinate. So it is a 4. And uh, B is the Y coordinate. And uh, we know that the Y coordinate of the Y intercept is negative 6. So this, this is uh, negative 6. So my equation would be X by 4 plus Y by negative 6 is equals to 1. And you can, you can even consider this as negative Y over 6. But uh, if you were to simplify this, what I would do is multiply the whole thing by the LCM of the denominators. And the uh, LCM of 4 and 6 is a... Uh, 12 I think so if I multiply both sides by 12 this uh, x by 4 becomes a uh, 3x this y by negative 6 becomes a uh, negative 2y and uh, this becomes a uh, 12 so if you were to shift the 12 over to the other side what you realize is that you again get uh, this 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 uh, equation the same equation so yeah just just to hit the nail uh, that we get the same equation if we use uh, different uh, forms of writing the equation of the line. These are these are the different four ways of writing the equation of the line. First one was the slope intercept form. The second one was a slope point form. This one was the two point form and this, this is the two intercept form. And we are done with the problem.